we're back with time for just one more thing. All right, now, if you've ever, ladies, been on a bad date, clearly uh, you need to know that you're not alone. Uh, I recently uh, asked my Twitter followers to share with me some of their worst dating stories, just on Twitter, and hashtag me with bad dates. Here are a few <laughs> of the ones that came in that kind of messed me up a little bit. <laughs> like this one right here. Met in New York City on a blind date with a gentleman to a place he chose. Turned out to be a porn store. <laughs> My man, let's just get right to it. Let's stop wasting time. Here's a little fun surprise. Out of character, I agreed to a blind date. To my surprise, he was a guy I'd had a horrible one-night stand with. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Talk about a string of bad luck, here's one. Do you want to hear about the guy who gave me a pumpkin or the one who gave me salad dressing on Valentine's Day? <laughs> All right, listen to this one right here. He showed up at a restaurant late waved to me from 10 feet away and fake going to the restroom and snuck out. Then he texted me I was too big. Oh. Damn, dog. You... Hey, man, really, really, man, you could have just said, hey, had an emergency. You know, I, I told my pants. You know, my mama called. <laughs> you ain't got to tell a lady she too big, man. Uh, this is true. This one happened. I'm not making this one up. This is awkward. His morning gift was a giant puddle in my bed where he peed in his sleep. <laughs> I cannot say the joke that just popped into my head. Thanks to all my guests. Remember, follow me on Twitter at I'm Steve Harvey.